Yo, what's good guys, back on the second channel right now. And in this video, we're gonna be reacting to the 2020 NBA All-Star Saturday Night Slam Dunk Contest, which was honestly really crazy. It was one of, I, was, I would say it's up there for one of the best. It's definitely not one of the best, but um, you know, it's up there for being really a really, really good slam dunk contest that I really enjoyed to watch. So we're gonna go ahead now, watch all the dunks, check out the highlights from the slam dunk contest. So make sure you guys do drop a like right now and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And if you enjoy me reacting to videos, you know I can definitely do this more often. I do plan on reacting to the All-Star Game highlights tomorrow. So yeah, definitely be doing that. But comment below anything else you'd like me to react to. We're gonna go ahead now and play this. I, at the start, before I, I watched this live, so I have, I already know the outcome of it, but um, I had Aaron Gordon winning it. You know, this is his third time. This is his third time in the slam dunk competition. So I just thought, this is the one. He said he's not gonna do it again. He said that before the slam dunk contest. Um, he said this is his last one. So I had my money on him. I, I was interested to see what he had in his bag. So Dwight Howard was the first one to dunk. I was pretty excited to see Dwight Howard, you know. Um, he starts off with I, what I thought was actually a pretty cool dunk. Obviously, you see it in just real time right there. You know, it wasn't, it didn't look like anything crazy, but seeing it slow down, like with most dunks, they look crazy in slow motion. Like, we'll get to the slow motion right here. You see him jump up, you know, he's smiling. He's actually jumping pretty freaking high. The way he jumps up sort of pauses mid, sort of pauses at peak height, then turns around and dunks it. That was his second attempt. Um, so that sort of probably affected it a little bit as well. But I mean, I sort of understood his method. You know, a lot of people do come out and just sort of get on the board with a nice dunk. Dwight had right there, you know, I think he got 41 for that. He got 41 for that dunk. So it wasn't insane. You know, but it was something to get it started. Derek Stone Jr. had a pretty one, pretty big one planned here, jumping over Bam, who's on his phone, which I didn't even realize. Obviously, Bam knew he was getting dunked over, but he's just chilling on his phone. Gian Giannis was like psyched all night. He was just going off at every single dunk. But I mean, that's one thing about Derek Jones Jr. is we know he can jump. The man can get up like crazy. So he's clear and Bam, he did push Bam there, you know, did put a hand on him. So I can't remember, I don't think he got a 50 for this, but you know, maybe putting the hand on Bam, that could have possibly affected his score a little bit. I think this was his second attempt too, but I mean, you can just see how high that man jumps. That is so crazy. So crazy how he does that. And the judges give him a, yeah, see it was a 46 or whatever. So. I mean, you could have given that a 50, honestly, that it was a pretty crazy dunk. But I mean, everything, everything looks so much better slowed down. We got Pat right here, who was definitely the underdog. You know, his dunk sort of inspired by white man can't jump. So he's got the fit on and everything like that. Wasn't sure what he was gonna do. And he does that and I was like, damn, damn, that actually surprised me. He clears that dude wearing the Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, you know, obviously the best buck of all time until Giannis' career is ever, who knows? But then again, I mean, Kareem ain't no joke. You know, he's one of the greatest ever. Um, but besides that, this dunk was actually really nice, jumping up, clearing him, and then throwing it down hard. You know, you gotta throw it down hard. If someone just like sort of rim grazes it, it can be sort of underwhelming, but that dunk was really nice. Didn't see it coming. You know, he's definitely not much of an in-game dunker. And obviously Giannis hype for his boy, you know, being, the, being a Bucks player, so. I was really happy with that dunk. Didn't see it coming, but I think that scored him a 50. So the judges right here didn't give him a 50. I thought he did get a 50 on that. I know, it might be his next dunk. I'm not too sure, but then we got Aaron Gordon. Obviously, a lot riding on Aaron Gordon. We know how good he can dunk. Um, Zach Levine versus him. What's he do here? That's right. He missed his first attempt on this, attempt on this but this is his first dunk, and he really, he gets something dope out of his bag for the first dunk right here putting it between the legs, but then dunking it reverse, putting it in backwards. That was really dope. I really, I thought that dunk was sick. Um, even though he did miss the first one, definitely still deserved a 50. You know, if someone like Shaq was judging, you know, Shaq says, if you miss, if you miss an attempt, then you don't get a 10. That, that's at least Shaq's, Shaq's method of, of judging, which was he judged, he judged the first when Zach Levine and Aaron Gordon went at it, but, um, yeah, he was a bit tough on the judges, but still, 
He got a 50 for that, I'm 99% sure, and I think he deserved it. So the judges right here, pretty sure it was straight 10s. Yeah, he got a 50 for his first dunk, so he's half about that. He was definitely the favorite, I think. And then obviously Dwight scoring a 41 and everyone doing what they did. He had to bring out one of his best dunks, um, and he brought out the Superman, which I thought was iconic as hell. Dunk was a little bit overwhelming, you know, just sort of looked like an in-game lob. That's what I think sort of affected him on this dunk. You know, he had the Superman fit on. He had the 24 on the S right there. Obviously, tribute to Kobe because apparently Kobe was meant to help Dwight with a dunk during this, which is pretty sad, man. RIP to Kobe. But And the judges gave him a uh, 40, 49 on that one. So it was obviously still a really good score. You know, it was very creative, bringing back the Superman and thing like that. But he had to obviously bring out one of his best dunks so he didn't get eliminated. Here goes Pat again. This was his second attempt, I think. Jumping over Giannis looked like a pretty just basic dunk, sort of like what he did the what he did before. But when you see it in slow motion, takes it off Giannis, taps it on the taps it on the glass, and then dunks it. I didn't see that real time when I was watching it live. I was like, he just did that dunk. But tapping it off the backboard, you know, you gotta have you gotta have hang time for that. You've got to have some serious hang time. So he was able to do that. I thought that was a really mean dunk. Pat was pretty confident about this one. You know, he was leaning on the judges' table. And they do give him straight 10s for that. He knew it was a 50. So we got Derek Jones Jr.'s second attempt. He needs 45. Just does a cash 360 between the legs. I mean, that's the thing with Derek Jones Jr., man. Like, with his frame and his ability to jump, when he's in the air, there's nothing he cannot do. He can put a 360, put it between the legs. Like, he's so long and can jump so high. I mean, like, look how effortless that is. And he still throws it down. Like, he puts it between the leg, chills, looks at the rim, then dunks it, and gets a deserved 50 point. And that then eliminates Dwight Howard. So you got Pat and Derek Jones Jr. right now advancing. But then we got Aaron Gordon bringing in Chance. Obviously, Chance from Chicago. All-Star game was in Chicago, so... You know, that sort of fitted into the sort of environment there. So he's got him helping as a, like a prop for this dunk. And I can't really remember this one, um, but obviously he's going to be jumping over. If, you got, if the ball's above someone's head like that, you know you're jumping over him. So here he goes for his dunk. Jump dash right here. That, that was actually really nice. He takes it out of Chance's hand and then fully spins around and then dunks it. In slow motion, of course, it looks better again. To do that and dunk on the opposite side of the rim, that's crazy. He's got some crazy bounce and he's so creative, Aaron Gordon. Third time's a charm, that's, that's what he's thinking right now. His third time is a charm, spinning around really clean. And the judges gave him, they gave him a 50 for that as well. He was raining 50s. Aaron Gordon was raining 50s in this, in this event. So that leads it to Derek Jones Jr. and Aaron Gordon in the finals right now. Derek Jones Jr clearing two people whilst putting it between the legs and throwing it down. That's typical. I mean, like I said again, with that frame and ability to jump, I mean, we can do anything up there. He's up there for so long. He can do anything, and he gets up so high. Eye level with the rim right there. That's crazy dunk. And the judges give him, I think it was straight 10s again. Yeah, he got another 50, 50 piece for that. Well deserved. Definitely think he should have gotten that. Now, this next dunk from Aaron Gordon little bit odd, I don't know why he did this, because it literally looked like the dunk that he just did, just sort of on a different angle. Like he jumps up, does the same type of thing. It's still crazy, it's still a 50 piece, no doubt about it, but still jumping over chance again, turning around, dunking it. It was a little bit different, you know, of course he jumps up, backs to the rim, and then dunks it. I think it still deserved a 50, I just thought he was a bit more I thought he'd have something else to do, but I think he's still got a 50 for it. He's still got a 10 for it, so I mean, I mean, smart man. I mean, if you can do the same thing pretty much twice and still get the same score, definitely why not? This is my second favorite dunk of the night right here. I've never seen that before. I don't know if, I don't know if that's happened. I don't think it has, but the lob off the backboard, catch it between the legs while jumping over someone and dunking it. I think it was his, I think that was his first attempt too. And when dunks happen on their first attempt, man, it's so much better. It's so much better to see him do it on the first one. But yeah, I've never seen that. Clearing someone, nearly doing the damn splits in the air. And that was definitely a 50. I mean, you don't need to go to the judges for that. Aaron Gordon, this dunk here. I think this is my favorite one of the night. He misses the first one. Markel Fultz, you know, he was uh, throwing the lobs. 
he D Wade was saying you get one miss. You get one miss. He did that, which was crazy. That was my favorite dunk of the night, I think. I mean, that's just I mean, you ain't human if you're doing things like that. Both Aaron Gordon and Zach Levine did that when they battled it out a couple years ago. Um, but Aaron Gordon did it when the mascot was on the hoverboard spinning around. Then Aaron Gordon did that. So, I mean, this was still crazy. I still think that deserves a 50, but it wasn't as good as when, the, when he did it with the mascot spinning on the hoverboard. Judge was right here giving him straight 50s. You got Scotty and you got D Wade. So those are two NBA players. There was a WNBA player as well there. Aaron Gordon taking off his shoes. I think he thought he won. But then Derrick Jones Jr., same type of lob between the legs. I mean, at the end of the day, you also got to think like every, like pretty much everything's been done. So the fact that they're still out here doing things like this, you know, I mean, someone's definitely done that before. Lob off the side of the backboard and dunking it. Someone definitely would have done that. Not saying it doesn't deserve 50 because that's just still so crazy to see. But um, yeah, I think he deserves a 50 on that. And he did get a 50, I'm pretty sure. But that's what I'm just saying. Like with the NBA players, when they go into something like a dunk contest, what has not been done? You know what I'm saying? That's what made the Zach Levine and Aaron Gordon one so good because they were doing things we had never seen. Never seen. So he gets a 50. So they got to go to the dunk off. I'm pretty sure this is the dunk off now. Third time of bring your chance out. Mixes it up. Takes it off Chance's head between the legs this time, which I think is awesome. Um, did the right thing doing that. You know, that was awesome. But the thing, funny thing is with Chance, you know, he missed out on seeing three of Aaron Gordon's dunks live because he had to stand there and hold the ball. But he got straight 50 points again. He has gotten a score lower than 50 all night, Aaron Gordon. And then Derek Jones Jr., it was obviously going to be something from the free throw line when you take a run up like that. The thing about it, you know, you see he's kind of salty. He took a step forward. And I mean, he clearly, he, you could, he could have jumped a meter back and he still would have made that dunk. Still would have made that. Look at, look at him soaring, bro. That is ridiculous. How's someone doing that? Um, I don't know what they gave him. I think that he missed out on... I think he got a 48 or something. Yeah, he got like a 48 on that, which we all thought by then, it was like, oh, it must be a GG. You know, I like, guess Aaron Gordon's going to win this with his next dunk. Seal the deal with another 50. Brings out 7 foot 5 Taco 4. Everyone's like going crazy. Like, no way. This was, I think, a second attempt. Jumped over Taco 4, dunked it, pretty much cleared him. He did bump him on the head, but, um, you know, I mean, that's still at least seven foot that he's jumping. Crowd goes crazy. Everyone's jumping on the core. I mean, everyone's high for it. She clears him right there, and everyone's like crazy. That's it. GG. It's all over. As Kenny said, it's over, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go home. But it didn't turn out the way most of us were expecting now. Obviously, I don't know if you have seen the score or not, but it was Derek Jones Jr. that caught the dub. See Chance right here going crazy. Derek Jones Jr. did catch the dub, but a lot of people were saying Aaron Gordon was robbed. I'm not going to say he was robbed. I think any of them could have won. It could have been anyone. They both deserve to win for sure. They both threw down some crazy dunks. And the funny thing about it is he would have gotten the same score if D-Wade scored him a 10. D Wade obviously played most of his career in Miami. Who plays for Miami right now? Derrick Jones Jr. Some people are saying that, you know, bit of bias, but that's the score he got. He lost by one point, but Derrick Jones Jr. is the champion. I hope you guys did enjoy this slam dunk contest reaction. Um, I enjoyed making it, so if you guys want to see more, definitely let me know, and I'll probably be, probably be reacting to the All-Star Game highlights tomorrow. So again, make sure you do drop a like right now and subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll catch you all on the next upload.